So the weather here has been crazy hot. It's later in the afternoon, it's probably like six in the Arvo and it's 34 degrees in here. Throughout the day it was getting up to 40. Um, that'd be drawing some temperature off the inverter, but um, I reckon in here would be fairly hot as well. So what I'd done was bought this evaporative cooler. Uh, it was $70 from Kmart, I'm pretty sure. The brand's Anko, it'd just be like a no-name brand, I'd say. But I'm gonna be put, putting this in the cabin here, seeing if I can cool it down, down a little bit. Um, that's gonna run off the solar. So what you do is plug it in. You've got a part here where you can put, doesn't show on here, but I'll show it later. Put water in the top or in the side and um, you can also put ice in it to give it some extra chill. Um, this is definitely the cheaper alternative to an air conditioning unit, but air conditioning would be way more efficient and well, not efficient energy wise, but um, a lot, a lot of cooling, a lot more cool compared to this. But um, for such a small area, this should do the job. So after having a look through the instructions, you can see that 240 volts. 70 watts so it's not very not drawing too much power um, so hopefully it works all right so we've got this top bit here you can put add water or ice in this section so you must be able to fill it up from here and then ice in this other section um, around the sides not much to it we've got a water level there so we've got a minimum maximum level a bunch of settings so we've got swing so that means the fan goes moves around left and right mode sleep natural and normal three speeds we've got high speed medium and low a timer so you can set the timer when you want it to turn on and off um, and a cool mode not too sure what that mode does and then we've got on and off okay so in here there's got a guide to evaporative coolers um, it doesn't recommend using these in hot and humid locations only in dry dry areas um, so that's what the cool mode does cool actually so what it says here is press the cool button if you want to have cooler wind blowing from the air cooler uh, this activates the cooling water mechanism inside the appliance causing the air to be cooler so I'm gonna be using that for sure Shows how to take care of it and clean it. Must have a filter on it, something. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's plug it in, put some water in it, and then test it out. So there it is, plugged in. I'll turn it on. You can see that's on. Already that's fairly cool, so that's good. No water in it yet. Um, that's on the low speed. Medium speed, high speed. So that feels all right so far. Put the swing on. So now it will pan left and right. So we've got these flaps. You can adjust the angle of it. So already that's feeling nice and cool. Gonna pour some water in it fill it up to the max level down here and and then press the cool button and see if it cools down even more so we are we're just above the minimum I probably wouldn't would not recommend it to be run on the cool mode below the minimum that's usually what they mean minimum and then the maximum so this unit can hold 10 litres, but um, I'll pour the rest of the watering can into it 
and then press the cool button to see if it improves. Okay, so there it is, water's in it. I'm gonna press the cool button, see if it gets colder. So it feels sort of the same, probably, probably a touch cool, cooler than what it was. Um, obviously if you put ice in it, it'd be a lot more cool, but um, it feels cool, a lot cooler than an, just an air fan, a blower fan. Um, so for such a small area, this should just do the trick. I won't be able to tell how good it is until later on after I do a proper test, but um, initial impressions are I'd say it's I'd say it's worth the money so far on a hot day like today. So the day I got this one was the day a mate gave me that. So that's two units, both with water in them, both on cool mode, um, working here as well. So it feels a lot cooler. They're both running off solar. Um, it was a stinking hot day, so it'll probably take a while to start cooling this area down. At least for now, it's going to blow air through in and out and um, later on it should be cool but I don't actually have a door on here so that's going to let it all out and not keep it cool on the inside hope you enjoyed um, hopefully I have another video out tomorrow